bienvenidos a otra lección. En esta lección vamos a hablar de reciprocal actions. Reciprocal actions. Now, it's similar to the reflexive actions that we did, oh, many chapters ago. Um, reflexive, as you recall, are actions that you do to yourself. Like, yo me baño, I bathe myself. Ellos se cepillan o se arreglan el pelo, they fix their hair. Okay, those are reflexive actions because much like a reflection, you do it to yourself, you see yourself. Now, reciprocal actions, similar but different. Reciprocal actions are actions that people do to each other. For example, um, when they see each other, they always shake each other's hands. They always hug each other. They always give each other kisses on the cheeks, you know, whatever. Reciprocal actions. Um, you know, because you can, you can have words like hug, but if the other person doesn't hug back, that's not reciprocal. And it's a little awkward. Okay, so reciprocal actions, people, things that people do to each other. So let's take a look at how we throw in that each other. Now as a quick review, as a quick mention here, you might remember that with um, reflexive pronouns, with the reflexive verbs, they say, say, nos, os if you're into that, say. We had words like this to say, myself, yourself, himself, herself. Usted self, ourselves, themselves. Okay, the reflexive, I'm sorry, the reciprocal pronouns, um, the, I'm sorry, the pronouns that we use with reciprocals are very similar. So if we take a verb like abrazarse, because I mentioned that one a minute ago, abrazarse, to hug each other, it's going to follow a very similar pattern. Okay. We've got to conjugate the verb first of all. We've got that AR ending, we need to change that. So if we hug, what would we change that to? That would be abrazamos. I could have picked a shorter word, I guess. Okay, but now we've got the say, and we've got to do something with that. Pronouns can neither be created nor destroyed. We only change their form. So if this is nosotros, the say is going to change into nos. And where do we put pronouns? Well, they typically go either before a conjugated verb or connected to an infinitive. Well, this verb obviously is conjugated. We've changed it. So we're going to throw it out up front. Nos abrazamos. We hug each other. Now, don't make the mistake that I made when I was in... Oh, 10th grade Spanish with Senor Ortiz in San Diego. I started thinking that this was an abbreviation for nosotros. It's not. You can still throw nosotros out here if you want to. But it's not necessary because you already see that it's we hug each other. You don't have to throw, throw in the nosotros. But nosotros nos abrazamos. We hug each other. Well, how would we say that they hug each other? Okay, they hug each other. Well, we conjugate the verb, abrazar becomes abrazan. Now what do we do with this? They hug each other. Well, that say, conveniently enough, doesn't really change in the ellos ellos ustedes. They hug each other, ellos se abrazan. Now, some of you might be asking, well, Senor, you said either before the conjugated or connected to the infinitive. Can't I say something like abrazarnos? Because you said it can go connected to the infinitive. Yes, but you still need a conjugated verb there. So, oops. <laughs> so, you still have to have a conjugated verb. You can't just say nosotros abrazarnos. We to hug each other. No. You still have to have a conjugated verb, so you can have something like vamos a, we are going to hug each other, then you can connect it to the infinitive there. Or you can throw in something, if you were to say something like queríamos, queríamos abrazarnos, we wanted to hug each other, we were wanting to hug each other. Okay, so stuff like that works. So you can't use the infinitive unless you have the conjugated verb. And that should be sort of review for you guys. Um, let's grab one other verb so I can give you one other example there. 
How do you say they give each other the hand? Or, I'm sorry, how do you say they shake hands? So you might remember the vocab word that we use for that, darse, to give each other. La mano. So give each other the hand. How do you say they give each other the hand? Uh, let's make it a couple of girls. Those girls shake hands. It would be, first of all, ellas and se dan la mano. Okay, see what we did there? Goes in front of the conjugated verb, conjugates. Ellos, ellas se dan la mano. They give each other the hand. Ellos se besan. They kiss each other. Ellos se abrazan. Ellos se saludan. Hola, hola. Se saludan. They greet each other. Um, and of course, we can switch it into past tense. We could say they shook hands. Ellas se dieron la mano. Um, they were shaking hands. They used, or no, let's do, um, um, when I was young, my aunt would always kiss me on the cheek. Me besaba. Mi tía. No, I'm sorry, that's not reciprocal. That's because she's doing it to me. I'm not kissing her back. Okay. If it was something where we kissed each other on the cheeks, nos besábamos. We used to kiss each other. Nos besábamos. Okay. So there is your real quick glance at reciprocal actions. We'll be doing more with that in class. You need an assignment. Let me come up with an assignment for you. Okay. My students, you've got three sentences to write. Your first one. Try writing. Um... They used to hug each other every morning. They used to hug each other every morning. That's number one. Number two, they did not greet each other yesterday. In other words, they didn't say hi to each other. They did, they did not greet each other yesterday. They did not greet each other yesterday. Okay, so I did one imperfect, one preterite. Let me give you a present tense. Uh, My parents always kiss each other. My parents always kiss each other. Okay, there are your three sentences. Um, buenas suerte. Adios.